everybody. It is Jim, and you are with me today for another exciting episode of Kit Bashing. I'm so excited to have you here with me, as always. Well, not always. We've had a few days where he has been gone. Is Luke. Luke, how are you doing today? Good. Uh awesome. So so what's up, Lucas? Uh, what was What's new this week? You weren't around. What, where were you? Um, I was at my house. Um, I was setting up my new bedroom, and um, I do have my own channel. My first video was recorded in my bedroom. Cool. So you got that. Um, you also got a uh, visit with Nana and Grandpa, so that was really cool. You got to do that. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, you also got yesterday. What did you get to see yesterday? Yesterday? Oh yeah! Yesterday we had a teacher parade, uh -huh. uh, and uh, a staff parade, and every single uh, adult uh, who works at my school uh, was in that parade, except for some of them. Like my teacher wasn't—I uh, did not see my teacher. But the the upsetting part about that is. Um, the school was here, my house was here, and all, all the cars started by going here or here. Mm. And there's only like five that went over there, and there's like another 30 that went these ways. Gotcha. So you're saying they didn't all go across your, in front of your house. Right. That makes sense. Well, but anyway, you are back today, and we have a really fun build today. Today, we are building a catapult, an actual working catapult like pull it back let it go it's gonna fire things through the air it's super cool we need a few parts to make the catapult today wrong camera wrong camera still the wrong camera there's the right camera here are the parts that you're gonna need you're gonna need tape a large rubber band assorted rubber band so that pile of other rubber bands was in your kit uh one of the dosing cups that is the little tiny cup on top here you're also going to need uh a a small binder clip, a couple dowels, a tongue depressor, nine popsicle sticks, eh, maybe just grab the tenth one if you got it sitting around, your twist tie spool, um, and then you're also going to need the index cards. We really only need one because we're just going to take it and we're going to turn it into these little tiny uh, projectiles to hit our targets with. So again, thank you for joining us today. My name is Jim. I am your host. Luke, what are we watching? Kit bashing. Thank you so much for joining us again. My name is Jim. I am your host today. With me today is Lucas. Luke, how you doing? Good. All right. Well, we talked about before the break, uh, you had a couple fun things going on that you were busy doing. And uh, I want to say hi to the rushes. Ashley is logged in today and is back. We are glad to see you. For those of you who are here on Thursday at 1 o'clock, we are live every day at 1 p.m. Central Time. Um, these are recorded and they'll be posted on our YouTube channel as well as Facebook and our website. And so I encourage you to uh, check those out. If you need to check out our website, it is madeinomaha.com slash kitbashing. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash madeinomaha. And lastly, if you ever want to send us a message, our email address is kitbashing at madenewomaha.com. Now, we are live, as I said. We have people tuning in from multiple locations. We've got YouTube tuning in. We've got uh, our website. We've also got Facebook tuning in. So there's a lot of different people tuning in. I've got the comments on my screen, so I'll be able to read them. And look, if you see me like doing this, it's because my camera is in the way, and I need to look around it for the one. And so if I'm doing this, that's why. Um, but I, I'll read comments. I'll pass them along. If you are not here live, you can put a comment in the comment section below, and we will certainly 
do our best to answer them. Um, if you are on our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe, like the video for both uh, platforms, and then we're going to dive right in today. Now, Lucas, I told you today that we are going to do this a little bit differently where, uh, I, yeah, we're going to do the build. I'm going to tell you how to do it, but I want you to kind of try to figure out what the first step was. So here is the one that I built. And I want you to take a look at that and just give me an idea. What do you think was the first thing I did when I built this? Like besides planning it out and inventing it and all that okay. stuff. What so, was the first part that I put together? To me, it looks like, so um, if you sometimes, oh, have you ever heard people say you can't build a house starting at the roof? Uh, because right. if you, if you do that, then, uh, then, oh, build the roof before the rest of the house, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have some trouble. So I think that this bottom base part is what you did first. That is actually 100% correct. That's what we did first. We built the face part, and to do this, you're actually gonna need four popsicle sticks, and you'll need your spool of twist tie wire. Now, here's what I'm going to have you do, Lou, because I'm going to have you take this stuff and make the, the base. So let me show you how we did this. Uh, the way that it works is I'm going to find the end of my twist tie spool. I'm going to show you just a little bit, and then as is uh, your role being the build apprentice, you get to build it. And so I want you to lay it out. Now, one thing I want to show you is that with this uh, twist tie material, so if you look at the twist tie, what you're going to see is a material that actually here, I'm going to move this little camera here so that I can show a little bit better on my desk cam. This material, there's a number of ways you can cut it. You can either just cut it with a pair of scissors. Um, earlier today, I was using, uh, of all weird things, I was using a pair of nail clippers because they work perfectly. They're little, they're right off to the edge. But if you don't have scissors, there is a way to cut this with just your hands. And it's a little tricky, but we'll show you. Karate the, chop? No. Um, the first thing you need is about four inches of this. Now, I'm going to show you how to... Uh, one, two, three, four. Now I've got a cool mat here that I can measure it out. If you don't have the cool mat, you can use your ruler. Here's how you cut this if you don't have scissors. See what I did there? I'm just kind of cycling through this like that. And if you do that enough, eventually you'll be able to ah, twist it and pull it. This stuff's a little bit thicker than the other stuff, but you'll be able to uh, twist it and if you bend it back and forth a little bit that's what I'm doing right now is I'm bending it back and forth sometimes that gives that little extra bit that it needs to to actually give up the ghost and go I've got so the wind outside has been insane if you hear any weird noises that's because the wind there we go the wind was just crazy today so I broke that off just by bending it and twisting it and you can do that I will say that takes a long time the easiest way is to use scissors or something sharp. Um, again, for my purposes, I was using the pair of nail clippers. And so uh, so grab something to cut or you should cut it by hand. But you're going to need these. Lucas, I'm going to have you build this, okay? Okay. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to cut. Uh, let's do about, for right now, let's get ahead of ourselves. Let's cut about six about this length, maybe, maybe just a little longer. Okay. And so while Luke's cutting these, and I, I gave him, did I give you the toenail clippers? Or the yep. fingernail clippers, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. They're clippers. I had them in my desk drawer. I was like, hey, these have a sharp end. They work. So. Whoa, that thing really works. It does work. I'm Where telling you. Uh, I think it kind of, there it is. <laughs> it actually winds And you when know. you stand up, just so you know. You aren't in the camera view. but I mean, you can stand up if you need to, but I just want to let you know that. Just so you are aware. Um, there well, we go. Just so you know, on my channel, I adjust the camera so that I can see and be seen even when I'm standing up. Yeah, Luke is very excited about his channel, which he will be able to plug at the very end. 
Let's see. There you go. It's windy out there. I know. I, I know. that The wind is blowing like crazy today. I actually... Uh, our table, we have a table out front. So because of this whole social distancing thing, we've set up a table that's basically been outside the front of our shop for the last few weeks. And when people order a maker kit or if they are delivering something to us, they can just settle on the table. They don't have to touch us. We don't have to touch them. Life is good. Um, the wind has been so strong today that it actually blew the table the long way over onto its back and like half a block down. It was really seriously crazy today. Um, the wind is like, today, uh, I was, today I was riding my bike over to my school to get, um, to get my lunch, since my school is doing uh, uh, lunch, because they made, they had all these leftover ingredients uh, to make food, but they didn't have any students to feed it to. So what they did is they were they started giving it away uh, for free. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was riding right. my bike down to the school, and the wind was just going crazy and making me super cold. Yep. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to take our two of our pieces and we want to make this as close of an L shape as we can. So to, to make our finished catapult this starts with this right here and what you're going to do is you're going to take two pieces make them an L shape as, as much as you can and 90 degrees is what we're really going for so not like this or not like this you know where it's a crazy angle. We're really going for 90 degrees and then we're going to lay our first twist tie across it like that. So Luke, why don't, why don't you do that? Hold exactly on. like I said. We don't need to have those straight. We just need to have them. I was counting the amount of twist ties we needed and I was just one short. Oh, gotcha. So we're going to need... Okay. Um, so take an, make an L shape. Make an yep. L shape. <laughs> All right. So you made an L shape, so now what I need you to do is I need you to take your twist tie and I need you to wrap it around this way. This way, yep. And so you can put the twist tie. Here's the here's the way that you can do that is if you take your twist tie and literally wrap it on one side and then twist it back around like this so that you got the two little pieces up. So twist it around one side and then just twist it like three or four times. Now you're going to have to have a little bit of overhang on your twist tie. So if, or a little bit of overhang on your popsicle sticks. They need to stick out a little bit or okay. else it's not going to work quite right. I don't get this. Here, throw me one of your, uh, throw me one of your twist ties and I'm going to show you a quick example. All right, so here's a quick example for those of you who are also in that boat where you're going, hey, I don't know exactly what to do. So I'm going to take my two popsicle sticks. We're going to overlap them. Now with my twist tie, I'm going to make kind of a U-shape first. That makes it kind of easy. And I'm going to bring that U-shape around and see how the popsicle sticks, they kind of stick out. So there's a little nub on either side. We're going to wrap this around. And then we're going to twist them together. And once you start twisting, the angle is going to change. And it's going to go from a right angle to a V. So you can stop for a second and pull that straight. And then the next step, once you have that back at the 90 degree angle that you want or close to it, you have another twist. Here we go. The next step is going to be to go around the other way. Because if you don't, you see what just happened is that mine came apart. And that's because I didn't have two different directions running together. And so I'm going to slide them back together, make them into the L shape, like so. Uh, a little bit. Okay, I'm really messed up. There we go. And so once you've gone one way, so I went this way and made my L shape, then we're going to take the twist tie and we're going to go around the other way. Come around and twist tie. This 
is tough at first, but once you do it once or twice, it gets a lot easier to do. And we're going to twist these together like so. Ooh, I know. Look, um, I can just hold these like this, and then I can uh, bring it out. If that works best for you, you can do it any way that works best. There is not a there is not a, a hard and fast firm rule for how to do this, except at the end you want to have it so that you've got two pieces that are together in basically a 90 degree L. And I actually have these this really nice mat, which I've talked about like a hundred times now since we started this series, but because I've got this really nice mat, I can line it up and I can look at that and go, oh, it's almost perfect. It just needs a little bit of a tweak here or there or whatever and uh, do that. So here's one, Lucas, and if you can make that L, then we can put these two together into our frame. You got it? Um, and twist tie both. Not... See? Right. Okay, so take a look at mine. See how I made kind of an X because I twist tied one way. And then I went up and down and I twist tied the other way. So the first time you do this, the first time you tie them together, they're not going to be perfect. Pass me uh, one more twist tie. I'll show you with another. So the first time you do this, they're not going to hold together perfectly. Um, I'm actually going to make a, a U-shape here. And if anybody's got questions, don't forget you can ask those in the video. If you're making this and you're not with us live, uh, you can post a comment and I'll do my best to answer those after the fact. So what we're doing is I'm twist tying them together and this doesn't have to be perfect at first. We're gonna twist tie maybe three times in a circle. And then right now, if I, if I were just to let go of this, it would slide apart and fall apart. This is not good, it's not done. So you can't just twist tie one direction. But once you make your L shape, and then you've twist tied it this way, the next step is we need to twist tie the other way. Does this work? So we need to make an X. Yeah, that's that works. And so we need to make the X on this side. So you can see there's an X there where I've gone this way and I've gone that way with the twist ties. And then on the other side, we just have to twist it all together now. And so that's what we're going to do. Luke, how are you doing with yours? You're getting it? Fine. Perfect. All right, I'm going to switch over here so the viewers can see what you are doing. Now, instead of making the U-shape, Luke, why don't you take this L, and why don't you combine it with yours to make oh, a base? Oh, I get it. We're going we're gonna to do teamwork here. Time. Teamwork. Work, you know what one of the sayings I hate more than anything is? Oh, did it fall off a little? Once you get the fourth piece on and you get them all connected, that won't happen nearly as much. Uh, there's a saying I hate that says teamwork makes a dream work. I hate that saying. It's stupid. Um, uh, why? All right. So now, Luke, put those two L's together. Okay. I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm trying to make this in a way that it'll... I want this... Flip the one ninety oh, degree. Oh, this? Now turn it the other direction on the other axis there you go and then it will oh and then I have to do this and this yep and it won't matter too much if they don't line up perfectly because really what's gonna hold it up isn't gonna be the uh, base it's gonna be the little tent that we're about to make with popsicle sticks and so while Luke's finishing the base I'm gonna show you guys the next step which is to make our a frames that go on the catapult. Now, uh, if you grab, uh, Luke, pass me that catapult. Would you be so kind? Catapult. Thank you. So if you look at the catapult that we built, the demo catapult, you'll see that there are two A stru frame structures. And mine shifted just a little bit, but uh, it's two A's that work together to, it's okay, Luke, that work together to uh, build the frame that rises up, the riser, for our structure. So we need to make this. To make this, we're going to need two of these, and we're going to need one of these. All right. Easy peasy, right? Now, here's the part that I messed up with on my own. You actually need to give yourself a pretty good amount of space up here at the top. And in fact... One of the reasons I got a tongue depressor was so I can set this up here 
and make sure there's about a tongue depressor's width at the top. Now, once you've done that, you'll take your popsicle sticks, and you don't want it to be all the way as wide as a popsicle stick, but close. And we're going to line this up, and we're going to make one loop. Again, we're going to go over the back side, and we're going to loop this together. One, two twists. Okay, so I've twisted it together that way. The next step is that I'm going to take this, and we're going to take this, and we're going to go around the long way, and we're going to twist those together too. And so now we've created another joint where these are held together like so. Perfect. That looks really, really good. That's really close to what we want, actually. I could maybe make it a little bit tighter, but it doesn't need to be. And don't worry if these aren't perfectly tight, because we're actually going to secure this a little bit more with some uh, rubber bands when we get later in that step. So you're going to need two of these. And the easiest way, once you've made one and you've got it the way you like it, is to take another set and just when you line them up, make sure that they line up, yeah, about, so that they're about the same, just like that. Luke, do you have another twist tie? Nope, you took them all. I took them all, I took the last one. I've only taken like two twist ties. I made, we made seven of them, mm -hmm. and you took two, and I used four, and somehow we're missing one. Oh, you know Oh, wait, I remember, I dropped one. Did we drop one? I was looking on the floor. We were both on the floor. This is really, really great TV. This is why we are broadcasting on the internet and not on HGTV. Like, let's go to Luke again. There's the back of his head cam. That's awesome. All right. Anyway. Do you have um, the camera back there? No, it, because you're looking away. You're Look, you're looking at the door, and the camera is on the other side, so it's seeing the back of your head. <laughs> you, you tipped me. Oh, Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Um, all right. So do you have your frame just about made? It looks pretty oh. close. Oh, ca careful. Whoops. All right. So Luke, fix that. Um, while Luke is fixing that, pass me the uh, pass me the twist tire, Luke. Um, the last twisty. Lukey. Oh, wait. I found a bunch on the floor. There's like a... 10 million. Hey Luke, we are live. Oh, right. Can you please pass me that right away? Um, yep. All right. So, I'm going to I'm going to twist tie our second piece while we are while Luke is fixing his frame. And again, Can you please fix it. It's you make part and <laughs> you make this and they might come apart sometimes if you're not watching what you're doing or if you're getting distracted luke have you ever been distracted never once yeah. in my life yeah lies all lies people um then that definitely lie. can't happen i never lie uh-huh that too is a lie and so again we're gonna line these up so that they're the same and once they're about the same then we're gonna take the one twist that we made and then we're gonna go around the other way the top way and we're going to bring those together. And if you've encountered issues like what Luke has where uh, your twist ties came off and you've got to reset, that's okay because even though this is a live show, there is a pause feature down there. You can push that and you can keep working at your own speed. That's okay. Um, so now we've built two of these cross pieces, which are just about the same they're a little bit different slightly different angle here but they're just about the same now listen uh, these are not going these are going to be very uh, movable like these are not going to be permanently in place until the next step when we get all of these put together and the rubber bands on and everything like that um, so once Luke's got his frame done then we're going to connect these two A's to that and then we will finish the actual tower in just a moment. All right, Luke, how's it going? Looks like you've got it almost back together. This is very frustrating. 90% of this video today, folks, is Luke with his head cut off. Let's see it. Here, pass it over here. Let me see what we got going. All right. 
it actually doesn't look bad at all. You actually did a really nice job. Um, you've got the crosses here. And again, depending on the type of, uh, there we go, the type of twist tie that we're using, they might be really slippery and slidey. That's okay. These don't need to be perfect right now. This is just to get us started. Um, once we have this part in place, then it's going to be time to take this part and this part and connect them together. And this part, we're going to use some of those rubber bands that will help hold this together so it doesn't move quite as much. I'm going to show you on this side, and then Luke, you better watch close because I'm going to make you do this on the other side. So, what we're doing is I'm actually taking this, and for those of you who are watching close, because you'll be doing this yourself, here's how this works, is I'm taking my rubber band around all three of the axes, and I'm just wrapping it time and time again. Let's switch to the overhead camera, and I'm going to wrap it until it's super tight, and that's going to hold everything together. Luke, are you watching what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to come over here to the second side, and we're going to do the same thing, where I'm going to hold this open, and we're going to, eh, we'll take one of these littler rubber bands, because I don't need to use the littler ones later. Um, and if parts come off, it's not the end of the world, because that's going to happen. We're going to twist it around, loop it, twist it, loop it, twist it, loop it. All right, so there we go. So now we have this piece. Now it's going to want to kind of flop shut. You've got to keep it from doing that until you're done. Um, once you're done, then that's going to be uh, no longer a problem. But <laughs> until then, yeah, it's an issue that you're going to have to deal with. Um, I'm going to put this guy back in. There we go. I think I found one of your problems, Luke. I think one of your twist ties wasn't twisted all the way. There we go. All right, we got the twist tie put back together. All right, so there's that. Now here's this piece. And I'm gonna twist tie this piece together. And then the very last step, once we get all of these pieces together, uh, whoa, you can't see me because I have done it again where I get working on a project and I forget that my camera is not like that close to me. And so we've got three of these. And the, the thing that we want here is we do want tension. The tension will actually keep this frame a little bit more rigid than if there was no tension at all. And this whole contraption actually, uh, from top to bottom, this entire uh, catapult is a tension catapult. So tension is uh, a form of energy transfer where you've got energy held in a state where it wants to transfer, but it's being held back. And then when you let go, it snaps. And so that's kind of what we're building today. Um, but now I'm holding this apart. And now here's the next part that I think is really, really critical to pay attention to. All right, there we go. Let's see if my desk cam works today. Okay, the next part is we need to lay our cross piece on the middle and kind of center it like that. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna wrap rubber bands around this part too. So just like we did on the bottom side, and if it flips sides, it's not a big deal. Um, let's go to the overhead camera. And when I'm done with this, Lucas, I'm gonna have I'm gonna hold the one side and I'm gonna have you do the other side, uh, so that we're working together. And Ooh, I understand what you're doing. We're building the frame. Uh huh. And also when you. Yeah, I that's why I left the table on the floor earlier because it's just gonna keep blowing over in the wind. But Wait, don't what worry happened? about it. The table blew over. All right. Uh, wow. So like I said, we got a table outside. So Lucas. While I'm holding this, I want you to grab a rubber band and I want you to lean in here and put this rubber band on. Whoa. So do I put it on like this? 
Uh, yep, wrap around all three first. And then I do it again. And then you're going to do it again around all three. And then, and then maybe do one where it's just wrapped around the popsicle stick, the tongue depressor. And then do another where it's wrapped around just one of the popsicle sticks. And now. So just so there's some variation in the pattern. All right, let's see. Wait, uh, wrap one, yep, right there. Boom. And let's see what we and got. And then we've got to do one more. Time on this popsicle. Let's take a move that. And all right, so cool. So what we have now is we have a finished main structure. Now this big popsicle stick, this tongue depressor, is what's going to stop our catapult when it gets to the full peak. Now right now these are sp spread apart a little bit. You can fix that just by moving these in. And again, that tension that we put it under earlier is keeping this frame fairly sturdy. Okay, so we have a frame. Now the next part is that if you look at this guy, what do you think we did next, Lucas? Um, well, talking about that reverse engineering, oh. learning from what others did. I see that there is... A bar here, yep. which is probably what we did next, uh, since this has to attach to that to fire. So this has to be what we do next. Yep, you're right. And so we got to attach that, and we have to attach that uh, by wrapping rubber bands around it. So here's the issue that we have: is that if you look at this, see, it's gotta it's gotta rotate when you pull this back that that popsicle stick needs to rotate and the only way to do that is if we have rubber bands on here uh, because the rubber bands well first of all they create their own tension um, this is almost like uh, a recoil uh, type catapult with these where the tension is put on the two coils and that pulls it up but that's not all of our tension because we have rubber bands so Here's how we do this. This is really, it's kind of tricky. I'm going to save the big rubber band for right now. We put one rubber band on here. And Luke, you get to do this on the other side. So I want you to watch this side. So see, I put the rubber band on, and then I pulled this over. So the rubber band's on the inside. I'm going to twist it around, go to the outside, and then we're going to twist it around again, and... You could actually just do that once, but I'm going to bring it around the back of our popsicle stick, wrap it around, twist it on, and then basically from here on out, I'm just going to twist this until it's tight and there's no more room for it to come off. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm... I am happy enough with that. It can't be too hard. It can't be too hard. So, Luke, I'll even throw this on there to get you started. Yay. Here you go. So, first I have to have it in the right spot. Yep. And then, and then I have to wrap it around with... the outside of the other side. You gotta go oh, that way. I know. I... And so... Whoa, <laughs> this is hard. It is. It is. But it can't be too hard. Now go behind the frame, the A-frame. Huh? Like this? Yep, there you go. Behind the A-frame. And then you're going to wrap it around to the front. Like, huh? Oh, like this. There you go. There and you go. Then... And then just twist it around as many times as you can to make that really nice and tight. Oh, I get it. All right, let's take a look at it. So, we've got this, and it seems to rotate pretty good. Now, there's still a little, it's, uh, I don't think it's either one of our sides in particular. I think we, we both probably could have looped it one or two more times to make it a little tighter. You want to make this as tight as you can. I'm going to do my side first. And if you've got the room to twist it a couple more times around there, that's what you want to do. You want to twist it a few more times to make sure it's really good and tight because if there's any way for this to uh, 
come off, it's going to want to. And that's actually pretty good. I gave you kind of a weak rubber band, so I, I don't <laughs> think it's your fault that there's not a lot of tension on yours. Maybe this it is... would work better with a smaller rubber band because the smaller rubber bands um, are... There we go. They're smaller, and they want to be in a smaller amount of space. So if we put them in a small amount of space like that, then these smaller rubber bands would uh, easily do this. That is a fascinating hypothesis. We'll have to test that. Or maybe you guys at home can test that. Using different types Eek. of rubber bands for different parts of the project would be a really cool way to test a hypothesis, which is basically a hypothesis is the idea you have based on the evidence so now we've got our popsicle stick on here lined up it looks pretty good lucas we got to do a few more things though we have to assemble our catapult arm this catapult arm so again reverse engineer luke take a look at this how do you think we make a catapult arm we need uh i see two dowels a do a dosing cup, mm -hmm. a small binder clip, a piece of twist tie, and some gaff tape. And some tape, okay. So you have those items in front of you, and you've got the twist tie there. Wait, how long does the twist tie thing need to be? Um, so the twist tie doesn't have to be very long. This one is probably about four to six inches somewhere in there doesn't need to be Wait, perfect do you have the ruler piece don't use the ruler I'm a you know what else you can use you can use your popsicle stick because it's a little over five inches oh i get this so i've got so this is i'll say this is five five and a quarter inches or it's close to five inches so like yeah i'll five. just say five so let's so say let's make it the popsicle fits. length luke if i divide it into fifths then uh, it would But let's be just make like it five this. inches, Luke. That's easier. Oh, right. <laughs> Why do I have to be a He's genius? not focusing today like he usually does. I don't I know what's going on. That's my focusing medicine. Oh, yeah. He's focusing. He's focusing, folks. Don't worry. All right. So, Lucas, you got that cut? All right, so Luke's cutting the last pieces, and so I'm going to show you again what we need to do now is we need to make this little guy here, the arm for the catapult. Without the arm, the catapult doesn't do anything, um, and so we need this arm, and this is probably not that hard of a step, and if we go and we look at what Luke's doing, um, he's taking the two. Now, so I've asked Luke to reverse engineer this. I haven't told him the steps for this part yet. So we're gonna watch and I'm gonna kinda narrate what Luke's doing. So he's clipped the two clips on the bottom. Okay, that's good. Now wait, before you twist tie it, I will interject here. How are you going to get it on the popsicle stick after wait, that? Wait, I'm gonna need this. Yep. I'm going to... So now he's got it, he's, he's figured it out. Sometimes when you're taking something apart, you're reverse engineering, you are looking at how they built it, but you also have to look at the order they built it in. So how I built this, I, I wrapped twist tie around these two pieces and I had it clipped here, but the order I built it in is very important because if I twist tie this to the dowels before I have it put on our pivot, it is not going to work. But is this... Wait, this is supposed to go behind here yep. so that it can fire. Yep, because it's you got to be able to pull it back and launch it. Right. So it looks like... Wait, I'm also going to need a rubber band for this step because of this. Yep, eventually. When do you think you're going to need that? Right now? Probably, maybe once I get this in. Why don't you get that clipped on and then see... Eek. Eek. Arg. This is frustrating. But have, has anyone ever heard of perseverance? That's right. Perseverance. We talk about that. What does it mean to have perseverance, Lucas? To try, to keep trying even when something is hard. That's right. 
at school, um, in my how class, um, we're always talking about pers- and perseverance. Um, there is this challenge where we had to make a catapult. So that's how I kind of know these steps. Um, I would I started the project with my friend, but we didn't really finish it because we found out that a slingshot is considered a catapult. So uh, we used the so uh, we decided well a sl- we should build a slingshot instead. Oh, ah, okay. So, uh, I just noticed this. Again, if you ever see me ducking this way or that way, it's because I've got the comment screen, like, right behind my camera. Um, Carrie S., who's watching us on YouTube, said, I love the video, but why do you not like the saying, teamwork makes the dream work? Okay, well, so, it it's kind of hard to explain, but here's the thing, is it, it's one of those cliches, and, and that's what I don't like. Cliches are those words, there's those terms that everybody uses, and they kind of lose their meaning. It's like saying safety first. Oh, we need to be safe, safety first. Well, if you say safety first enough times, nobody's actually being as safe as they can, and nobody's putting safety first. They're doing whatever their job is, and then, yeah, we'll be safe while we do it. And so cliches, I think sometimes they they weaken the value of a phrase and especially when they're they're obviously meant to be like uh, a corporate gimmicky sort of thing um they just i just don't excite i get excited about those you know i like it when people have valuable quotes and they say wonderful things you know I, i've got on my wall over here uh the real strength has to do with helping others a mr rogers quote i do love mr rogers um he's he's definitely one of my heroes um, Lucas, it looks like you've got that assembled. So you taped the dosing cup onto the arm. Now, I just want uh, to look now while you're doing this. So he's twist tying now. He's doing the uh, twist ties, which if I sh- shift you to the desk cam, you can see there's a twist tie right here. And Luke's working on that right now. Um, very nicely done. And so, Luke, your catapult is coming along very, very nicely. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is that even without having any other stuff on the catapult, having another spring, he's still got a little bit of uh, tension in the system because of the rubber bands used to hold that center piece up. So because of because of these rubber bands, he's got a little bit of tension. Now that's not enough to launch anything. Once Luke's done, uh, I'll. Look, if I do this here, that's. Let's... Put a piece of paper in it and try to fling it at me. Let's see, let's see if you can even get it to me. Wah, wah. But um, let's use so, this other one. That wait, I'm let's not- make yours stronger. So here's how we do this part. So now you've got this part, Luke. Ch- uh, watch this. Check Hold this on. out. Hold on, I can reverse okay, engineer. Okay, he's going to reverse engineer it. So I think uh, by what I see right. Uh, how would you do this, viewers at home? Oh, I'm supposed to put it over this? Because I think I was actually supposed to do this first. No, you can do it then. That's fine. As long as you can get it over the Look, cup. It, I can do this. Was I supposed to do that? Yep. And then I'll twist it. And Is it twisted here? Look at mine. Oh. Oh. I think I should just make it tighter. I've got my own ways of doing this. Then I can put it inside of this, inside of the binder clip as where well. Does, can, where does that here. attach to? Oh, that still doesn't do it. So for those of you, while Luke's working on his, for those of you who are at home, I'm going to explain how I connected mine. So he's absolutely right. I did take, the first step is to put a rubber band over the end of the actual arm so the end of our actuating arm here and then that rubber band I pull it to the front and then I go behind and then this is the fun part I go underneath and then we wrap it around the frame like so and so when you wrap it around this frame and you go underneath now all of a sudden I've put tension actually not the whole frame just where these back little nubs are, we go around that so that it holds it right there. 
Here. So see, now we've put tension on this system. This rubber band is way too That small. might be a tiny guy. Here's a here's one that's a little bit more fair. I'll try this. Oh, you're gonna try that one? The the one that has words all over it. I'm gonna need two cameras for you. One for when you're sitting down and one for when you're standing up. I'm gonna have to work on this. I mean I guess technically we have the desk cam, but eh, not the best cam. The desk cam ain't the best cam. There's a Wait, so your rhyme for the day. I didn't I didn't understand a thing you said. He didn't understand a thing so you said. So how do you, how did you do it? Did we put it did you put it like this? So yep, now pull it yep in front. Now go around the bottom and go underneath it and behind. So go under underneath the back end and then you're going to wrap it around the two the two little pokey things that come out from these two popsicle sticks. Your two back popsicle sticks. Yep. So wrap it around these two parts right oh. here and here. You could probably do it around those two oh. as well. Okay. But I'll show you. Okay, now let's test. Alright, let's test. Ca oh, I... I, it definitely is harder to pull back yep. than it was before. You've got a thick, thick Whoa. rubber band, which puts a lot of tension on the system. And that's that's kind of what you want. And the more rubber bands you add, so like if you want to add three or four or five rubber bands, totally acceptable. Totally acceptable. Um, so, Lucas, you got yours? Let's see it. Let's, here's a little, here's a little projectile. Hey, Whoa. Whoa, now remember, you're going to have to hold the frame. So, uh, hold on, I'll show how you make these little projectiles. So, all you have to do is cut, uh, is tear off a part of the index card, and then mm, crumble it up. Super easy, right? And then, once you do that, all you got to do is puts it in there, and... Fire! Oh, he got me. All right, so Lucas. Wait, I'll launch. I'll launch your rubber band, and fire! Oh, so now, uh, now that we both have one, obviously the thing that we need to do is we need to have a, a rubber band war where. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, nope, not that. I need a, a few rubber bands. Oh, I missed. I'm, I'll get you to work. Ah. What else can we launch? Double How fire! Big... Ah, that backfired on me. Wait, hold on. Paper clips. I had a paper clip somewhere. Paper clips? Are you kidding? I got nuts and bolts. I got all sorts of good stuff. Fire! Oh, man, I missed you. Uh, here's um, another rubber band. Oh, you know what? I have oh, I've I know. got a button of optimism. It says contagious optimism. We made that a few episodes ago. So, I know. Uh, look. I, I'm firing contagious optimism at you. Ah! Oh, it almost got him. It yeah. went right behind uh, wait, his head. Wait, hold on. Uh, gaff tape pen cap. Woo! Ah, you got me. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a lot Popsicle of fun. Popsicle stick. Oh, wait, no. That's not going to I tried work. that one. Doesn't necessarily work. So, okay. Paracord that, bracelet. Woo! Ah, that was a lot of fun. Today we built a working catapult that you can pull back. It uses the scientific principle of tension, which is how we transfer energy uh, from the rubber bands. When they're sitting at rest, they have potential energy. We stretch the rubber bands and we put them under tension. And then we build up the energy so we can release it in the lever that we created. Remember the lever from several episodes back? We have a lever right here is our is our pivot for our lever that was in our second video that was second video Woo! oh man and luke's still firing stuff at me <laughs> so we're gonna uh probably be firing stuff at each other for quite a while until next time <laughs> i am jim your host and the guy over here launching stuff at me is my co-host luke and you have been watching kit bashing thanks so much we'll see Woo! you tomorrow
Wait, is this on? Is this on? Hey, everybody, it's Jim. I'm just tuning in for a couple seconds at the end of the show. I want to say thank you again to everybody who came in today. Um, carry over on YouTube. We've got John Mack and Ashley on our main channel. So thank you so much, you guys, for being part of our show live. If you want to see our show live, you can tune in at 1 o'clock Central Time. Um, that's going to be different times for the other time zones, but one o'clock central time in the U.S., and that's on our website. You can actually go to facebook.com slash made new Omaha to see that, or you can, huh, I don't need that screen. This is the fun part is that I don't, uh, I, I do everything live, including these little segments after the clip. You can also go to our website, made new Omaha.com slash kit bashing. As I've said many, many times in the past, I love hearing from people. And so if you send me emails at kitbashing at madenewomaha.com, whether that's uh, a, a picture of your catapult or what you've built or something completely original that you've created and you said, hey, I think you could build this with the kit for one of your future episodes, do that, kitbashing at madenewomaha.com, and let's let's have some fun together. Um, until next time, I'm Jim. You've been watching Kit Bashing. Bye. That didn't work. I was gonna. I was gonna like close by loading it up and launching it at you. That, that kind of worked. Bye.